Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst. We'll understand Microsoft 365 Defender in a Security Operation Center. Let me quickly show you one picture and then we'll discuss more about it. Here is the uh, picture which I have taken from Microsoft documentation. This will be more of a, a theoretical video, if you will. So, what all constitutes in a modern security operations? You have, let me take a drawing. Like, you have a broad enterprise view wherein you do case management, you have your SIAM solutions, all right, and then those are integrated through an API to your XDR solutions, which protect your enterprise assets from network, infra apps, pass services, IoT devices, your identity and access management, your endpoints, your SaaS applications and information and data. All right, then through the threat intelligence or built-in threat intelligence or critical cloud security controls. They also give you an option to do analytics and hunting, which are part of your 365 Defender as well, wherein you can use automated information and uh, response, invest sorry, automated investigation response, which is AIR. And then you can manage those responses through alerts, incidents within your team and uh, within your tenant all right to describe more on this so there are some functions and tool associated with security operations model so in big in big organizations there must be a specific size of the team which will vary on the roles that they are defined, right? So security operations and the other factors as well. Each function team has a primary focus area and they will must collaborate closely with other functions and outside teams to be effective. So the, uh, the picture, the previous picture that we saw describes the full model, but in smaller organization, these functions are also combined into a single role or a team. So if we go by security operations model, constituting functions and tools. So if you'll see the triage and uh, automation, the, the flow that it takes. So first we'll have the automation part. So I'm starting from below, let me use my drawing board. So first we are checking the automation part, right? So what it would do? My Microsoft 365 Defender would provide near real-time resolution of known incident types with automation. And these are well-defined attacks that the organization has seen many times. So there are some built-in automation, built-in uh, threat intelligence capabilities, but automation team in constitution with their team members would work on well-known attacks through the XDR alerts that are getting in Microsoft 365 Defender and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now, then comes the tier one or the, your rapid remediation or escalation, which is triaging. So this team would focus on rapid remediation of a high volume of well-known incident types that still require quick and this still requires human intervention. So these are not uh, closed or resolved through automation or let's say it's integrated with Sentinel through logic apps where it's blocking the IP, it's granting the permission or it's allowing a user to do something, right? So no, these are often tasked with approving automated remediation workflows and identifying anything anomalous or interesting that would, you know, that would need investigation or consultation, right? So, so th there are some key learnings for triaging and automation that would be some of them are 90% true positive for any alerts that will require an analyst to respond. So every alert would not be a false positive. 90% would be true positive. Now after this, I have my 
tier 2 or the investigation team what would this team do so this investigation or advanced analysis and remediation team would serve as an escalation point for issues from triaging so let's say i have an i have a triage team or tier 1 team which would work on known issues they follow a certain template they know what to do on these specific issues anything that comes out of those uh, sops that have provided to my tier 1 team or when they are exhausted after performing certain steps to fix a certain issue then this would be escalated to tier 2 or the investigation team which is my advanced analysis and remediation right uh, this tier 2 team uh, will provide deeper investigation into a lower volume of more complex attacks they can be multi stage attacks which are conducted by human attack operators and this team also would pilot new unfamiliar alert types to document processes for triage team so if they are working on a new issue or a new alert or new type of attack this team would make sure that we document these make an sop for my triage team slash l1 team and for the automation as well so that they can work on those issues going forward rather than escalating it to my tier 2 team now we have now we have the hunting of the tier 3 team which would do proactive hunting advanced forensics and detection tuning so what do you mean by hunting so this is a uh, this is you so or the last level of support or the last level of escalation when it comes to security operation models this team would do threat hunting which is proactively hunting for undetected threats right assist with the escalation and advanced forensics for reactive investigations and refines alerts and automation so these teams operate in more of a hypothesis driven model than a reactive alert model and are also they are red purple teams connect with security operations so uh, they would not do they would not work on a reactive purposes they would often worked on proactive wherein they are doing threat hunting and they are looking for undetected threats right so that if they see one they would make an sop they would plan to remediate it and share the solution with my tier 1 team so that none of the issues are escalated to my investigation or my tier 2 team all right now uh, the now how it comes together right so we have to get an idea of how this works so the flow would be tier 1 what would tier 1 do let me go back okay so if i go from tier 1 right now uh, this uh, let's say an incident came to tier one so the analyst or the engineer who is working as part of tier one would claims uh, that okay there is an alert from the queue and it they would investigate let's say they are investigating on microsoft 365 defender console now while most triage cases are rapidly remediated and can close this time my triage team member observes that malware may require more involved advanced remediation right for example it may require device isolation or cleanup now this team would escalate the case to my investigation team which is tier 2 who will take a lead from there for further investigation now this this l1 team has option to stay involved and learn more investigation team may use sentinel or other sim for a broader context but they would have an option they cannot just pass the ticket and stay there and work on another ticket if they have interest they would be part of the investigation that my tier 2 in member is doing all right so this investigation verifies the investigation conclusions or would dig further into it and proceeds with remediation and then closes the case and share the sop with my tier 1 now later which which boils down to my uh, tier 3 right what they would do is this team uh, when they want to 
they noticed this case while reviewing closed incidents to scan for commonalities or normalities worth digging into right so they see okay there was an issue which our team worked on and then they would do detection that may be eligible for auto remediation they would see multiple incidents that may have a common root cause and they would also see other potential process tool or areas of improvement now tier 3 would review the case and found that the user had fallen for a tech scam right so they will also look for improvements and found and so now they would review the case found that the user our user was user faced these kind of issues right so they see that detection which potentially is uh, it potentially may lead to a higher incident or higher priority alert then they would make sure that they do proactive threat hunting and make sure that this alert does not cause problem going forward now there is one more team that works as a threat intelligence now threat intelligence team provide context and insights to support all other functions using the threat intelligence platform in large an organization so this could include many different uh, facets right so they do reactive technical research for active incidents they do proactive technical research into attacker groups trends high profile attacks or emerging techniques they do uh, analysis strategy strategically they do research and insights to inform business and technical processes and priorities all right so this is what we wanted to get an idea like how would microsoft 365 defender fit in as part of security operation center or soc team and how would the capabilities of 365 defender would fit in with the processes under security operation center right i hope this video was informative for all of you if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day